Researchers have come up with an innovative approach to building deformable underwater robots using simple repeating substructures. Underwater structures that can change their shapes dynamically the way fish do push through water much more efficiently than conventional rigid hulls. But Constructing deformable devices that can change the curve of their body shapes while maintaining a smooth profile is a long and difficult process. MIT's robot tuna, for example, was composed of about 3000 different parts and took about two years to design and build. Now, researchers at MIT and their colleagues, including one from the original robot tuna team, have come up with an innovative approach to building deformable underwater robots using simple repeating substructures instead of unique components. The team has demonstrated the new system in two different example configurations, one like an eel and the other a wing-like kind of foil. The principle itself, however, allows for virtually unlimited variations in form and scale. The work is reported in the journal Soft Robotics. Existing approaches to soft robotics for marine applications are generally made on small scales, while many useful real-world applications require devices on scales of meters. The new modular system the researchers propose could easily be extended to such sizes and beyond without requiring the kind of retooling and redesign that would be needed to scale up current systems. The individual work cells in the team's experimental proof-of-concept devices are mostly hollow stretches made up of cast plastic pieces with narrow studs in complex shapes. The box-like shapes are load-bearing in one direction but soft in others, an unusual combination achieved by blending stiff and flexible components in different proportions. In one of the devices produced by the team, the work cells are attached end-to-end -end in a long row to form a meter-long snake-like structure. The body is made up of four segments, each consisting of five work cells with an actuator in the center that can pull a wire attached to each of the two work cells on either side, contracting them and causing the structure to bend. The whole structure of 20 units is then covered with a rib like supporting structure and then tight fitting waterproof neoprene screen. The researchers deployed the structure in an MIT top tank to show its efficiency in the water and demonstrated that it was indeed capable of generating forward thrust sufficient to propel itself forward using undulating motions. There have been many snake-like robots before, but they are generally made of bespoke components as opposed to these simple building blocks that are scalable. The other device they demonstrated is a wing-like shape or uh, hydrofoil made up of an array of same work cells but able to change its profile shape and therefore control the lift to drag ratio and other properties of the wing. Such wing-like shapes could be used for a variety of purposes ranging from generating power from waves to helping to improve the efficiency of ship hulls a pressing demand as shipping is a significant source of carbon emissions. The wing shape, unlike the snake, is covered in an array of scale-like uh, overlapping tiles designed to press down on each other to maintain a waterproof seal even as the wing changes its curvature. One possible application might be in the some kind of addition to a ship's hull profile that could reduce the formation of drag inducing eddies and thus improve its overall efficiency, a possibility that the team is exploring with collaborators in the shipping industry. Ultimately, the concept might be applied to a whale like a submersible craft using its marble body shape to create propulsion. Such a craft that could evade bad weather by staying below the surface, but without the noise and uh, turbulence of conventional propulsion. The concept could also be applied to parts of other vessels such as racing yachts, where having a keel or a rudder that could curve gently during a turn instead of remaining state could provide an extra edge.